Grandma, throw the wind off. Should we leave that in there? Yeah, we should leave that in there. We should leave that in. We'll find a way to leave that in there. We'll leave that in there. Grandma for the win. Yo, 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 echo! What's up guys? Today we're going to do a face-off for bean and cheese burritos from the Chili Pepper and stands here in Yuma, Arizona. All right, guys, so we're here doing a taste test. Um, we have on this side the chili pepper uh, bean and cheese burrito for $1.99. And here we have Stan's groceries bean and cheese burritos for about four bucks. Uh, Stan's is a little bigger uh, than the bean and cheese from chili pepper. Uh, we have different salsas uh, that come with it. Uh, chili pepper just has their main salsa, which is pretty delicious. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to taste and we're going to tell you guys which one is better. Dude, honestly, like, I I don't think I've ever had, like, the bean and cheese burritos mm -hmm. from Sam's. Oh, those look messy. Um, you know me, I'm a messy person. <laughs> So let's start with Sans. There we go. Like we said, these are a little bit bigger. I don't even want to pick it up. Oh, look at that cheese. Ugh. All right, go ahead and pick it up. Oh, wow. Or do you want this one? This one's not my favorite. Dude, this is like. I'm just hoping to pull more cheese on this one. There it is. 15 pounds. There it is. Alright, so you want to go first without salsa? I like, don't even want to bite it. <laughs> Why not? It's a bean and cheese burrito. You no, know, but like, right. I can't. Let's it's go ahead. Cool. You can have bean and cheese. There's a bunch of bean over here. Mm hmm. It's sweet. It's alright. So I did taste quite a few. It's thick, bro. Like full beans. They're not all completely mashed. It's thick. I like them though. Try some of the salsa. Salsa's right there if you don't want some. I mean, is it hot? Pretty good. No, is it hot? No. No, it's not. 
I, got, I didn't get the hot one. Some napkins right there. So what do you think? Like, would you be satisfied with that burrito if it was like your lunch? Just the peanut cheese? Yeah. And remember, you're only eating half of it, so there'd be another half to it. Uh, nah, bro. I think it's I like just a full eat... meal, huh? It's like I think I just eat half, low key. Like crazy. I can't even do that. Here, I can force me. Because it's freaking. She she thick, bro. <laughs> what about taste wise? Does it taste good? Yeah. Can you start mine? Okay. How's one? Do that Grandma for the win, huh? <laughs> should we leave that in there? Yeah, we should leave that in there. We should leave that We'll find a way to leave that in there. <laughs> we'll leave it in Grandma there. for the win. So here, don't get full on that one. Let's try the other one, too. She is crazy, bro. This is crazy. It's pretty good, huh? It's I like, don't know. It's, it's big. It's just like, she... We cut it, and it just... She a lot. Showed us everything that she had to offer. Yeah, bro. She a lot. The cheese... I don't even have any more water. The uh, salsa was good. All right, let's go for this one. So chili pepper, uh, they are known specifically for bean and cheese burritos. I have a feeling this is kind of like unfair for Stan's because Not a lot of Stan's know about is known for breakfast burritos. They got the bacon, egg, potato, cheese. They got just a bunch of different combinations. They got huevos. They got weenies. They got everything. Little rancheros, they got a bunch of different breakfast burritos. So this is like not their strong point. Uh -huh. Going against someone that is known is for known like... for bean and cheese burritos. Um, they're cheaper. Uh, this one's bigger, costs uh, double the price. Uh -huh. Um, so let's stop talking. Let's start tasting after she passes. Uh -huh. yeah. That was classic. I can't even smile. <laughs> Alright. So let's go ahead and jump in. Bro, I was like already excited. Chili pepper. I was already excited for chili pepper. Right. So this one's not too messy. Look, it's... You can kind of... I don't know if you can see the cheese, but... There's a good portion of cheese in there. So right away, you can see this one's more... <laughs> Alright, I gotta go for it too. I'm sorry, I like chili pepper. I like, I don't like. It's so good. Oh my lord. It's so good. Yeah, after tasting that other one and then tasting this one. Mm. Bomb. Yeah. Oh, and I love the salsa. Dude, I can drink the salsa. Lucky. I love the salsa. I freaking love chili pepper. The salsa is a lot more watery than this one. Like, I don't think I could pour that one. Sorry, I don't think I can pour that mm -hmm. one into this one without it getting all over the place. Um, right away I noticed, and you can kind of see, uh, all the beans in here are mashed. Like, it's, r it's rare that you bite into it and you taste like a full bean that hasn't mm. been crushed. Yeah. So, uh, the cheese... They have a good amount of cheese that they put in there, and it just, I don't know what it is about these beans. It's like a classic recipe. That just tastes so delicious. It's so good. Oh my gosh. It's so it good. is cheaper. It is smaller. I need, I'm going to care. But, let me see. It's good for his price. I love this. Is that yeah. good for me? Hands down, this is... The price is better. Um, yeah, this one's a little larger, but the taste and the price give this one like the lead big time. Yeah. The 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 salsa, I do think they're both tasty. Um, this one's a little different. They're they're a little different. Um, differently made, different ingredients, so they're gonna taste different. But for these bean and cheese burritos. I think this is like hands down the best. It's so story. good. I'm sorry, I'm obsessed with them. Oh lord. 
So, <clears throat> what I was trying to say earlier is this is not really its strong point going against this place, the Chili Pepper Mr. G's. That is their strong point, their bean and cheese. The strong point for stands are the breakfast burritos. So I think it'd only be fair. Uh, one of the next videos I'll do is I'll do breakfast burritos. We'll have stands. We'll have Mr. Uh, G's or Chili Pepper in there. Uh, there's some other places here that that uh, do have breakfast good. burritos. So I don't. What other places? Um, I don't want to throw any names out there, but Jectors. Oh, that's like, I uh, am. Yeah. You know the story behind Jectors, right? No. Well, legend has it. No. That uh, an employee from Stans was, I don't know if he was fired or he he decided to go and start his own. His own burrito place. Mm hmm So he was working at Stan's. He learned the recipes, the secret ingredients. And he went and started his own place. And, like, carbon copied Stan's. Is that why people are, like, Stan and Jeffers, like, the same thing? Yes. Thank you for not rubbing that on I've... my couch. Mm -hmm. But, um, no, yeah, I do think that we need a... You know, because I do, I do, I love Stan's. Stan's breakfast burritos are amazing. Um, but bean and cheese wise, I don't think there's a better place here in Yuma. Than Chili Pepper and Mr. G's. Chili Pepper and Mr. G's. They are uh, the Gutierrez family. And I think they got this on lockdown, so. Uh-huh. Today's victory goes to? Chili Pepper. Chili Pepper. Alright, guys. So... Like I said, we'll be doing a bunch of other, uh, you know, this place versus this place, uh, food categories. I'm thinking we do tacos. Well, what am I going to eat for tacos? That We're going to do quesadillas. Where you could you could be in that video. Thank you for not drinking that salsa. I'm sorry, dude. I um, love that salsa. It's so we'll good. We'll do quesadillas where she could uh, take over that one. We can do places that have, like, grilled cheese for you. Cause I don't also want to do um. There's a lot of places here that do the the Mexican street tacos, the bacon wrapped. Um, did I say tacos? Yeah, but you're talking about. I'm talking about tacos. hot dogs. No, I'm think, talking oh, about hot, hot dogs. dogs. Yeah, bacon wrapped hot dogs. Um, there's street tacos, there's uh, street dogs, and I think uh, Yuma has a lot of uh, Mexican cultured food that we can tackle and taste and uh, let you guys know what we think. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, anything you'd like to add, Michelle? Nah, that was freaking bomb. I'm gonna start loving this. Alright, so this is a, a very fun video to shoot just because the food is delicious. So good. Um, so good. But also, Michelle, are you gonna be doing something on your channel you want people to look out for? I don't do anything. Something featuring me and my beautiful face? Oh! Okay. Hold on, we're not official on this, but here's the thing. I just got lashes, right? And I was like, I imagine I do like a Tolo like tutorial on his face, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to do that. So if I do post on my channel, that's what's gonna be about. I'm gonna turn my amazing uncle into a gorgeous man. I don't know. Just we're gonna put lashes on him, and he's just gonna look like a little butterfly on his eyes or something. It's just. It's gonna be amazing. I don't even know, but something beauty related. We see you. We see you. So where where can they potentially look that up if we decide to do that? Mm, on my channel. But here's the thing. I don't know what to name it. I'm probably gonna name it like Zaga Laga or something. I don't know. Like I really don't know. So please stand back. Uh, good. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. So that's it for us today. Uh, uh, this is on uh, 310 to Yuma. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me, FAK911, across all platforms. And we'll see you next time.